Alrighty, what's going on today guys? We're going to talk a little bit about tuning a bow song. Some things can help you guys out if you've never really done it before. So first off, stop using Loctite. If you're using Loctite, stop using it. It is a way of the past. You don't need to use it anymore. Um, Teflon tape or plumber's tape did the same thing, but depending on where you are, they might be called something different. Um, it's just like white tape that you wrap around the screw, put it in, and it holds just as good. And this leads us into the next thing, tightening down your screws. Um, there's just a couple ways to do this. First, put the screw all the way in, and then, you know, right when it starts to get a little bit tight, check your tolerances. You know, check to make sure your handles have free swing, it's not sticky, they're not binding, and then you want to just slowly keep tightening, you know, just ever so slightly on each screw, you know, closing the handles together so that it's actually tightening and you're not just spinning the pivots. So to counteract the spinning the pivots, if you guys didn't know, you just squeeze your handles together like this, while with the other hand you're either tightening or loosening the screw. This helps if you have a spinning pivot so that you're not just sitting there, pivot spinning, you're stripping the screw out. So just squeeze the handles. This works for open or closed. Quick little tip. Now you want to just slowly keep tightening just to the point where the handles bind and then slowly back off just to right where you get free swing back and that's a sweet spot. Now if you had already applied your beautiful Teflon tape, you don't have to do anything else. Now with Loctite, you know, if you go too far, you forget to, you know, bring it back or you didn't check to make sure you have free swing, then you gotta break the Loctite seal, back them all out, and yeah, wear with Teflon tape, you don't have to do that. So definitely use Teflon tape. Now let's talk a little bit about drivers. Most ballast songs from major companies use T10 um, screws, hardware, all that good stuff. But if you have, you know, clones, some Squid Industries knives, the clones usually are like T8 or T6, and the clones are T10. So you, you know, having multiple different drivers does help. Now what I do is I just buy the little bits, you know, T8 bits, T6, T10. I have like a whole set from like T2 all the way up to T10. And then I just get the driver itself and the little bits fit into the driver and I can crank them down that way instead of paying more money to buy screwdrivers for each different size. So you can save money that way. And then, you know, you screw in one of the bits, you just gotta buy the bit and not the whole new screwdriver itself. So that's just something to help you guys out. And also, I've been seeing this lately, the, <clears throat> the screwdrivers that come with some of the clones have literally just been disintegrating as soon as you go to tighten anything down. <clears throat> They've just, they shatter and break apart. It's like, it's terrible. And then you got plastic shards everywhere. And yeah, so just be aware of that if you order clones and you go to use the screwdrivers. I had it happen to me a couple of times. So yeah, just be wary of that. Now, using oil. Oil is super helpful. It keeps all those surfaces nice and lubricated. And it also helps take up any voids. Um, you can get rid of some tap with oil. It just takes up some of that free space up in there. And it also helps with your play. It also helps with your noise as well. A lot of ballast songs sound a little bit better with oil in them. They sound a little bit deeper and not as um, metallic-y, I guess is how you would say it. I don't know. But some people don't like using oil. That's them. I personally do. I think a lot of the battle songs I have sound a little bit better with it. So anyways, if you guys have any questions regarding tuning your battle songs, where to buy some things, you know, a lot of this you can just get online, ship it to your house. You don't even have to leave your room. You don't have to touch grass. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.